So first we're going to talk about ISO and basically ISO is in a really basic form it's the sensitivity of light that your camera sensor has. So back in the day, back in the day, um, when you're talking about actual film, they came in different grades of ISO. So what that meant is, is how sensitive the film was to the, to the light basically. So if you had a low number ISO, so something like ISO 100, it wouldn't be as sensitive to light, which means it would take effectively take longer to expose um, the correct exposure, I guess. Then you can get film that was maybe ISO 1200 that would expose very quickly. Now, that may sound really good, but the only problem with uh, a higher ISO is that it also introduces grain. So you get graininess in your footage um, and it doesn't look so good. So it's always best to shoot on a lower ISO if you can. Um, so I always try and shoot on the GH4, the lowest ISO is 200. You can get 100, but I don't think it's one of the native ISO, so it doesn't look as good. So I shoot ISO 200. The only reason I boost it up is if all of my other settings are as adjusted as much as they can be, but the image is still dark, then I last thing usually is bumping up the ISO. Unless there's a, a certain effect I need to go for by having an aperture set a certain way, which we'll get into later. Um, but yeah, I usually try and shoot in the lowest ISO because it does produce the best results quality wise. So yeah, again, it's basically just how sensitive your camera sensor is to the light. So the lower the number, the less sensitive it is, so the darker your image will, will effectively be. And the higher the number, the faster the camera can absorb the light. So picture it like a sponge absorbing water. If you have a really coarse thick sponge, it's gonna absorb the water a lot slower. So that would be, let's say, ISO 1200, but a sponge isn't gonna do as good, good a job. It's gonna be a bit rougher. But if you have a sponge that is um, smaller or whatever, it's gonna absorb less water, but it's probably gonna do a better job. So I don't know if that analogy works at all, but basically that's what ISO is. So I hope this really helped. Please subscribe, um, please comment if you like, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.